ask you a question. Are you a good person? Think about that for a moment. If God was to look at you and say, are you a good person? What would he say? Well, you have to compare. You have to look at God's word. There has to be a standard of what is good. <laughs> well, the Bible tells us there's none good but God alone. God gave his law, his holy commandments, to show man our sinfulness, our inability to be good, as it were. Just think about the Ten Commandments. There are hundreds and upon hundreds of laws in the Old Testament. But just look at the Ten Commandments, which really sum up the law. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not lie. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not covet. Think about, think about those things. And Jesus took those a step farther. He said, anyone that hates his brother without, without cause is guilty of murder. He said that anyone who looks on a woman to lust after her has committed adultery with her already in his heart. How about you? Have you ever told a lie? Have you ever stolen? Have you ever looked at a woman with lust? Then by according to God's word, not according to me, but according to God, you are a sinner. The Bible says in Romans 3.23, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And so because we are sinners and God is just and holy, we must be punished. God in his justice must punish man's sin. Listen, the lake of fire was created for the devil and his angels. And yet, if man chooses to live in his sin... That's where he's headed. That's where you are headed if you reject Christ. Do I show my bullets? But oh, listen to the words of Romans 6.23, which initially speaks of that payment, that judgment that? that we must make for our sins. It says, for the wages of sin is death. But listen to the second half of that verse. It says, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. We deserve judgment, but God made a way that we don't have to be judged. We don't have to spend eternity in hell. God wants us to be with him. He made us for himself, for fellowship with, with him. Oh, would you just consider what Jesus did for you when he became man and came to this earth and died on a cruel cross, suffering incredible agony and taking your sin upon himself, my sin upon himself. He literally became sin for us, even though he knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. And how do we receive that free gift that he gave? How do we accept his sacrifice for ourselves? Well, the Bible tells us it's by faith. Ephesians 2, 8 and 9 says, For it is by grace ye are saved, through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. We cannot work our way to heaven. We cannot pay off our sin debt by doing good works. The Bible also tells us, By the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. It also tells us that without the shedding of blood there is no remission of sin. So it is only by Christ's shed blood and his resurrection, whereby he defeated death, that man is saved. Romans 10, 9 and 10 tells us that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. And it says, for with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. In verse 13, it tells us that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. So why don't you call on the Lord today? Put your faith and trust in Jesus and take your trust off of yourself and working your own way to heaven because you can't do it. Put your trust on Jesus. He alone can save you. Like trusting a parachute when you jump out of an airplane. 
that it will take you to the ground safely. In the same way, put your trust in Jesus, Back here, please. the way, the truth, and the life, who said, no man cometh unto the Father but by me. Please think about it. And if I can be any, any help to you, if you, can, if you want someone to pray for you, or if you'd like some more scripture, or like to know more about God's word, about Jesus, please feel free to contact me. I would love to talk to you. I would love to pray for you.